Croisol Power to the Double Discounts PSN sale. This sale is just for PS Plus users, so if you don't have PS Plus, you don't want to be buying games from this sale. And be careful what games you buy, because even though it says Double Discount, some of their games are more expensive than they are on sale normally, so be careful which games you pick up. You've been warned. But don't worry though, I've still found some really good games in this sale, and you can save a lot of money on them as well. So don't forget to subscribe, and then you'll never miss a good deal again. You're welcome here anytime. Okay, this sale ends on the 21st of June, so that'll be your last day to pick up these deals. Let's look at the games. First up, we have Desperados 3 Digital Deluxe Edition. It was released in 2020, so it's only 3 years old, and it's on an 80% discount for the price of £8.99, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it for PS Plus users, and a really good deal. As this edition includes the Season Pass, with 3 Mission DLCs, so again the complete version of the game, for a really good price, which is really cool. In this RTS, you control a gang of Wild West characters, each with unique skills on a quest for redemption as they work together to complete missions through stealth, strategy and action. If you remember the old Commandos games, it's basically like that, where you control a group of people in missions and you plan and strategize before you attack or sneak in or do what you need to do in that mission. It's a rare genre these days, but it really rewards patience and planning. So if that sounds great to you, you'll really enjoy this. But if not, you'll probably get frustrated and have a terrible time, so think about it first. Our next game is For Honor Marching Fire Edition. It was released in 2018, so it's 5 years old, and it's on an 80% discount for the price of £7.99, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it for PS Plus users, and it's a pretty good deal, as this edition includes the Marching Fire expansion, that includes a new faction and arcade mode, and it even has 60 frames per second 4K graphics for PS5. In this third person action game you get to fight as knights, vikings, samurai and more as you storm castles and fortresses and dual deadly bosses. It features an offline campaign and 8 player online multiplayer as well. This game was kind of a big deal when it came out. I don't think it ever made it as big as it wanted it to but it was pretty popular. Especially the multiplayer which seems to have carried on for quite a while and was quite popular at the time. Although it's been a while now so I'm not sure if the multiplayer is still active. But hey, he's got a single player campaign, which looks pretty good. So if you're a fan of medieval or melee combat games, and you want a good single player campaign to play, you should definitely take a look at this. It looks like a lot of fun. Just don't rely on the multiplayer still being active, because who knows at this point. And hey, if you've never played a third person action game before, then I wouldn't recommend starting here. The campaign looks fun. You can get other AAA games cheaper than this, so you're probably better off starting one of them instead. So why not subscribe? and then you won't miss them when they go on sale next. Fury Modor Edition is our next game. It was released in 2022 so it's only a year old, but the game's older than that really, and it's on an 80% discount for the price of £3.99, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it for PS Plus users, and a really cheap price for a good game. As this edition includes both of the DLC, where you get to fight a new boss, play as a new character, and you also get a dynamic theme as well, which is pretty cool. You get the best version of the game, with all of the content included. In this bullet hell boss rush game, you've been jailed, and the jailer is the key to your cell. Killing him is your only way to escape, so you must fight your way to freedom in back-to-back -back epic bullet hell boss fights that will test your skill and focus to the max. If you don't know what a boss rush game is, it's basically a game where every level you just fight a boss. That's it. It's basically like chaining all the boss fights from a game together into his own game. They're usually very challenging and that's what makes them enjoyable. You need to have that, I just need one more try to beat this guy kind of vibe. And if you love the sound of that, you'll really enjoy this game. I've played this game and I love the art style and the gameplay. It's really fun and addictive. If you've got the skills to try this game, you'll probably love it. So why not check it out? And hey, if you've never played a Boss Rush game before, then you should definitely take a look at this game. It's a really good one, it's really cheap, it's got a lot of content included, there's really no downsides. If you're interested in this genre, or you just want to check it out, you should definitely take a look at this game. It's well worth your time and money. Take a look. Next up is my Star by Jurassic World Evolution. It was released in 2018, so it's 5 years old, and it's on a 90% discount for the low price of £3.69, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it for PS Plus members, and a dirt cheap deal for a really great game. In this management sim, on the famous islands of the Muertos Archipelago, you get to build your own Jurassic Park, bioengineering dinosaurs, building the park to contain them, expanding the islands, and choosing your own journey with a story full of iconic characters from the series. 
just be careful which version you pick up because the cheapest way to get this game is to buy the base edition on sale and then buy the expansion collection when that goes on sale as well. I've got this game myself, I recently completed it and I loved it. If you're a fan of management games and especially if you like Jurassic Park, you'll really enjoy this. Like I said, it's my star buy. You'll have a great time. I did. We have a platformer next, Lego Jurassic World. It was released in 2015, so it's 8 years old, and it's on an 80% discount for the price of £5.99, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it for PS Plus members, and a dirt cheap price. In this game, you get to relive classic moments from the first four Jurassic Park movies, as you play as the legendary movie characters from all of the movies, as you struggle with the consequences of playing God and bringing back dinosaurs from their DNA. This game features 20 dinosaurs to play as, as well as all of the movie characters. And you even get to customize your own dinosaurs and make new ones by crossbreeding them as well, which is a really cool feature. And it even has an island exploration mode where you get to explore the islands and populate them with dinosaurs as well, which sounds really cool. They've really gone out of their way to put some extra effort into this game. And it even includes two player local co op as well, which is great to play with a friend or a kid. These games are great for that. So basically, you should know what the LEGO games are like now. They're really cool platformers, and there's a load of them. So basically, if you like platformers, you should definitely play one of these games. So if you haven't played this one before, or you really like Jurassic Park, definitely check this out. I basically would only say not to if you prefer one of the other franchises instead. And hey, if you've never played a platformer before, this is a really good series to start with. And this game's a really good deal, with a ton of content included from a really good franchise. Like I said before, basically the only decision to make is do you like Jurassic Park? Because if you do and you want to try a platformer, definitely pick this up. Or if you don't, then why not look at one of the other LEGO games instead? So don't forget to subscribe, and then you won't miss them when they come on sale next. Olympic Games Tokyo 2020, the official video game is our next game. It was released in 2021, which doesn't make sense because that's a year later than the title. But that makes it two years old, and it's on an 80% discount. Price is £6.99, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it for PS Plus members, and a pretty good deal. In this party game, you get to create your own athletes and compete in 18 sports and events to win gold and become an Olympian. It features global leaderboards, local two player multiplayer, and eight player online multiplayer as well. These sorts of games are always fun to play in a party or with friends, so if you're looking for a game to play with your mates at parties, this is a really good one, and it's usually really popular. Basically, if you're looking for a fun game that you can play with anyone, and everyone understands it, and they don't need to learn any of the rules or how to play, this is a really good game for that. So if you like party games or the Olympics, or you like the sound of this, definitely check it out. They're usually pretty fun. And hey, if you've never played an Olympics game before, then you don't have many options in general, and half of them are on the Nintendo consoles only. So if you've always wanted to try one, definitely take a look at this. Although it's not the cheapest game around, so you might want to wait for it to go cheaper again in the future. And if that's the case, then don't worry, I'll let you know when it's on sale next. Up next is Planet Coaster Premium Edition. It was released in 2021, so it's only two years old, and it's on an 80% discount for the price of £13.19, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it for PS Plus users, and a really good deal, considering this is a huge amount of content in this edition, with seven full expansions, including the Magnificent Rides, Classic Rides, World's Fair, Adventure, Studios, Vintage, and Spooky expansions included, totaling 35 extra rides, over 450 blueprints and thousands of scenery pieces, and it even includes a free upgrade to the PS5 edition as well, making this the complete version of the game, apart from the Ghost Whistles DLC, but that's only a little thing that you have to pick up separately. So you're getting the biggest version of the game, with most of the content included, at a really good price. You really can't ask for much more. It's a great deal. In this management game, you get to build your own theme parks in this amazing simulation. You can use pre-built attractions, or even build your own custom coasters for the ultimate thrill ride. It features a career mode, a sandbox mode, firework displays, online sharing of creations, and nearly unlimited possibilities. I mean seriously, have you ever heard of Roller Coaster Tycoon? It's one of the most legendary series in this genre ever made, and I love it, it's one of my favourite games ever. If you haven't played the old ones, go and pick them up on GOG or something, they're usually like £2 on sale and you'll waste days and weeks of your life playing that game. They're brilliant. Anyway, they were the legendary series that pioneered this game genre, but sadly the guy that makes them doesn't make them anymore, and the franchise is owned by EA, who are just ruining the series in general. Ugh, the new stuff's garbage. Anyway, if you like roller coaster building games, this is now the best game you can get. It's basically a spiritual successor to the Roller Coaster Tycoon series, and that's the best compliment I can give it. 
I love that game series. Just play it. If you like simulation or management games, and you like roller coasters or theme parks, take a look at this game. You won't regret it. It's definitely worth checking out. And hey, if you've never played a management game before, then I wouldn't recommend starting here. It's amazing, and it's one of the best, but it's still expensive. You can get other management games cheaper than this, so you'd be better off starting there instead. And if you enjoy them, or you get hooked on the genre, then you can come back to this at some point and really delve in and have an amazing time then. So subscribe if you want to wait for them, and you won't miss them when they go on sale next. We have a JRPG next, Scarlet Nexus Ultimate Edition PS4 and PS5. It was released in 2021, so it's two years old, and it's on an 80% discount for the price of £14.99, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it for PS Plus users, and a really good deal, as this edition includes the soundtrack, art book, three costume packs, four SAS, two Bond episodes, weapon skins, and weapon attachment as well. So you're getting a load of extra content for the game for a complete package, which is really cool. This game is set in the distant future, where humans have developed extrasensory powers and were named psionics, until highly resilient others fell from the sky with a hunger for human brains, leaving the psionics as the last hope for humanity. Most JRPG games are set in fantasy universes or historical context, and this one is actually more modern and in the future, which is really refreshing and different, and it makes it more interesting to me. If you're a fan of JRPGs, but you want one that looks a bit different, or has a story set in a different, unique environment, you should definitely check this out. There's not a lot set in the future, really, and this looks like a really cool one, so why not check it out? You might really enjoy it. And hey, if you haven't played a JRPG before, then I wouldn't recommend starting here. It's a bit expensive compared to some other games on sale, and you can get some other legendary AAA games for way cheaper than this as well. So you're much better off starting from one of them instead. But don't worry, when they come on sale next, I'll let you know. So don't forget to subscribe, and then you won't miss out. Sniper Elite 4 Digital Deluxe Edition is our next game. It was released in 2017, so it's 6 years old, and it's on a 90% discount for the price of £6.99, which is really great, as this edition includes the full £29 Season Pass DLC, including new missions, weapons, characters, and weapon skins as well. So you're getting the full version of the game, with all of the DLC included, for a great price, which is really good value. In this third-person shooter, you get to experience the definitive Sniper franchise, with huge levels, tactical gameplay, epic long shots, all as you fight to liberate wartime Italy. And it also features two-player co-op and four-player online multiplayer as well. So if you've got a friend to play with, you'll really enjoy this game. I doubt there's anything like this around anywhere. If you're a fan of Sniper games and you want to play with a friend, this is the game for you. And hey, if you just like sniping in general, why not take a look at it? It's probably the best sniper series around these days, and you can't go far wrong with it, you really can't. And if you've never played a sniper game like this before, then I would definitely recommend it. Especially if you've played first person or third person shooters and you really enjoy them, you'll get a lot out of this game. So why not take a look at it, and at least consider picking it up. Our next game is Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts 2 Complete Edition. It was released in 2022, so it's only a year old, and it's on a 70% discount for the price of £14.99, which is the cheapest I've seen for PS Plus users, and a really good price, as this edition includes a huge game expansion, plus 11 DLC packs, including weapons and skins. So you're getting a huge amount of content included for a really good deal, which is great. In this first person shooter, you play as Raven, a contract sniper who embarks on a series of missions in the lawless Middle East to topple an insidious criminal syndicate and make a ton of money along the way. It features extreme sniping at over a thousand meters, a wide range of weapons to choose from, and extensive maps to explore in your gameplay, which is really cool. There aren't too many sniper games around, and the first couple of games of this had mixed reviews, but as they've come on, they've really gone better, and now the reviews are really good. So if you like sniping games, you might want to check this out. It's pretty new, and it's got a lot of content included as well. So check it out. You might really enjoy it. And hey, if you haven't played a sniper game before, then I wouldn't recommend starting here. These games are pretty expensive compared to some of the other ones that go on sale, so you're much better off starting with one of the other series instead. They're usually much cheaper, and they include a lot of content as well, so you can't go far wrong, really. And don't worry, I've got your back. I'll let you know when they're on sale next. And the final game I have for you is Sword Art Online Alicization Licorice Deluxe Edition. It was released in 2020, so it's three years old, and it's at an 80% discount for the price of £16.99, which is the cheapest I've ever seen it for PS Plus users. And this edition includes the Premium Pass, with two major expansions, a special costume bonus, and some virtual currency as well. So that's really good. You're getting some big expansions included, 
for a pretty good price. In this RPG, Kirito awakens in the underworld, where he meets a boy named Yu-Gi-Oh. Together they set out on an adventure to fulfil a promise. It features real-time battles, and lots of your favourite Sword Art Online characters as well. So if you're a big fan of the series, you'll probably enjoy this game. Now this game does have some mixed reviews, because there's a lot of dialogue in this game. And I mean a lot. It's an RPG, but it might as well be RPG and visual novel from the amount of writing that's in this game. Now it does have a mode where it cuts down all the writing to very short, summarised versions of the story. But that kind of defeats the object of the game to me. It's like, if you don't want to know the story, don't buy the game kind of thing. In any case, you've been warned. If you're not a fan of the series, you might be put off by all of the writing. But if you're a fan of the series and you don't mind reading essays, you'll love this game. So if that sounds like you, definitely take a look. It's a bit different compared to the others, but I think you'll really enjoy it if you like the sound of it. And hey, if you've never played a Sword Art Online game before, then I wouldn't recommend starting here, because with all of the talking and dialogue, it might put you off, and most people probably will be put off. But there's so many Sword Art Online games, you've got loads to choose from, and they're usually cheaper than this as well. So if that sounds better to you, then don't forget to be subscribed, and I'll let you know when they're around next. And that's all the games I have for the Double Discounts PSN sale. Sorry about the audio for some of this, but my main PC is faulty at the moment. I'm waiting for a stupid little centimil fan to come before I can use it again. In any case, it should be fixed by the time I'm recording the next lot of videos. It's just quite annoying because I'm supposed to be building a new one soon, so it's kind of like, ugh, did they really have to break like four weeks before I build a new one anyway? Ah, uh, inconvenient. Anyway, what did you think of the games I picked? Did I pick good ones or did I pick bad ones? And what about the star buy? Did it deserve it? Or just some other game I've got it instead? Leave all your complaints down in the comments. We can talk about it later. Anyway, I hope you guys found some games you're interested in. But more importantly, I hope you saved a lot of money. I'll see you guys in the next sale. Au revoir.